Would you like to be surrounded in the presence of love? Kuan Yin, the living expression of caring, is waiting for you with open arms. Welcome back. I'm Jean Houston, your guide to goddesses. Whether you're trying to keep it all together or focused on caring for others, Kuan Yin is there to give you the grace and strength you need. Her luminous, divine, feminine nature strengthens you. She is a living, compassionate companion and friend who can elevate and inspire creative projects or open loving paths for you. So who are you? Kuan Yin. <laughs> Kuan Yin is the Buddhist spiritual presence of compassion. She is called forth in China, Japan, Korea, and throughout Asia as her love is embraced by all. She is the divine mother of Buddhism. Kuan, meaning earth, and yin, the feminine life force. Kuan Yin. As the legend goes, after having lived a virtuous life, Kuan Yin is said to have transcended the material world and achieved a state of spiritual enlightenment. Just as she was about to step through the gates of paradise, she heard the cries of the suffering people back on earth. Moved by their plight, she turned away and committed herself to assisting all of humanity until there was an end to suffering. Kuan Yin appears in flowing white robes, the color of purity. In her hands she holds a vase filled with holy water or healing nectar from which she liberally pours forth compassion, abundance, purification and blessings upon those in need. She may also hold pearls or mala prayer bees representing her devotion. Sometimes she holds a branch of willow tree symbolizing her ability to bend without breaking. At other times, Kuan Yin may be seen quietly seated upon a blooming white lotus or confidently riding on the back of a dragon, a symbol of strength and transformation. Kuan Yin is an abundant source of wonderful, wonderful miracle stories. Usually depicted with two arms, Kuan Yin can also be seen with a thousand arms and eleven faces. The Lotus Sutra, a sacred Buddhist text, speaks of her as the pathway to spiritual salvation and describes 33 different forms assumed to save people from harm. She is all-embracing, all-seeing, and skillfully able to intervene in all situations. At times, a peacock is by her side, with patterns on its feathers appearing like a sea of eyes watching over the world. Why is Kuan Yin here for you now? Well, she's accessible. She is a hand to guide you every day. She offers you answers wherever there were none and opportunities that you didn't even know that you had. When you ask her, you receive miracles and guidance. She doesn't judge. She never runs away. Kuan Yin will soothe you in difficult times, bringing you peace of mind and greater self-love. She can help you to work through any angry emotions that you may be carrying, thus creating space for the forgiveness of others as well as for yourself. <laughs> Call upon this goddess to be infused with unconditional love. But how do you invite her in? Kuan Yin speaks to you through your heart. Be patient and curious as you listen to your own deep wisdom. Keep the feeling of joy, gratitude, and appreciation in your heart and then spread it to others. Create a dialogue with the goddess. She is your compassionate companion who works best with who you can become. You can connect with her by using a mantra or a mudra by sitting now in a relaxed posture, you can repeat a mantra or a phrase to connect directly to Kuan Yin. A popular one is Om Mani Padme Hum, although there is no direct 
Translation, it is sometimes called the jewel of the lotus. Quietly we repeat, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum. Or another activation technique is the gentle practice of mudras, the positioning of the hands and body to influence the flow of energy within and around your body. A familiar one may be seen when people greet or take leave, your hands are held together in prayer at your heart as a sign of peace and respect, usually accompanied by saying, Namaste. Namaste, the light within me honors the same light within you. I am Jean Houston. Thank you for joining me. See you next time on Goddesses. Namaste.